trying to forget that I'm addicted to you. What is Bob and Funko Bob Academy? Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. Craziness is still going on. Day like 30, I don't even know where we're at right now. Every day feels the same. Filming, it's Saturday. This should come out on Sunday, so I guess I know where we're at. Today we have a super fun filled video. So, can't really go hunting right now. Haven't been ordering a ton of pops either. So trying to come up with some fun different ideas to do for videos for all of you guys. So today we are doing a very, maybe controversial topic. I know my mother would might not think so and a lot of people, a lot of parents out there because we spend so much money on pops. But we're gonna talk about why Funko Pop collecting, these guys right here, tons of them. We got hundreds, we got thousands actually. Why Funko Pop collecting is a good addiction to have, okay? It's a slow process. When Kath and I first started collecting pops, we liked them, we, we, we were kind of addicted. We'd buy like a few a week and then it gets to like, oh my God, we need to go hunting, we need to go to the store, we need this pop and every pop that comes out, I just feel like I need, I need more and more. Every single Marvel pop, every single Pokemon pop, every single DC pop, every single everything pop, add icons, need everything, completionist, you guys know how it is. So that slow burning passion for pops and just the lovely cuteness, it turns into an addiction. And there's a lot of things in life that aren't great to be addicted to. Um, I can come up with a few, but we're not gonna get into that. But pop collecting, it's one of them. And I'm gonna go through ideas here. And if no one agrees, or if someone doesn't agree with a certain thing I say, comment down below, let me know. I'd love to talk to you guys. I love fighting with the Academy, it's great. I love all of you, don't worry. But I love having discussions, intellectual conversations. So we're gonna get into this, and I think you guys will agree, but these are the reasons that Funko Pop collecting is a good addiction. Number one, I have it written down. I was up at like, let's see, I sent this text to myself at 12.49 a.m. So it was a bunch of like random thoughts I had when I was trying to fall asleep. And these are just some ideas off the top of my head. And if anyone else has others they want to share, definitely hit me up down below, let me know. But the number one is, this is very simple, and you could really say it for any addiction, but it gives you something to do. That's one, that's just the, that's the first part. But let's get into that. So what I mean is, if it's a Sunday afternoon and I'm bored, like right, well, right now we can't go hunting, but on a normal Sunday afternoon, I'd say I don't have too much going on, it's raining, whatever the reason, you go to the mall, you go, you know, Barnes & Noble, you go to Hot Top, you go to Walmart, you go to Target, you go to Thinky, you were like, well, now those aren't really here, you go to GameStop, you go to comic book stores, okay? It gives you something to do. It's fun, okay, you go hunting. Sometimes you don't even find anything, but it's still fun. It's a few hours of your time. I can make videos for you guys. I have, I, I love doing that, okay? I love going on hunts, filming what I find, you know, doing cool vlog action. So overall, it's fun. You know, sometimes you run into other collectors, all that. That kind of gets us into our second point. Now, this is one that, <laughs> I don't know, I know Captain didn't totally agree with me on this one, but I, it kind of makes sense. In a way, this kind of has to do with something gives you something to do. It also saves you money. Now, everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, okay, coming from me, I probably spent well over $10,000 on Funko Pops. I'm admitting it, okay, you have it on film. Probably more, I don't know. I mean, I don't buy like hundreds of dollars of grails left and right, but just collecting every, you know, week, going out, spending, you know, at least sometimes, you know, over $100 a week on Pops. It adds up quick, you know, especially conventions, going to going to conventions, you get even more. I mean, alone at New York Comic Con, I spent like well over 500 just on those pops, so there you go. But how it saves you money is because if you go hunting and you don't find anything, okay? That saves you money. See how simple that is? Everyone's gonna think I'm stupid, but I'm serious, okay? Like, sometimes when I'm bored, when you get bored, you spend money. That's just what happens, okay? You go out to eat, you go to the movies. Well, I love going to the movies. You know, you go, I don't know, bowling, something, okay? It costs money. Obviously, you gotta keep yourself entertained. But by going pop hunting, okay? And if you don't find anything, you're still entertained and you save money. It makes sense. Everyone's gonna fight me on that one. I don't care. It makes sense. You save money. You do. I've gone pop hunting so many times that I haven't found anything. And if I wasn't pop hunting, I would have been doing something else that would have cost money. So it saved me money at certain times, but it's also cost me lots of money. But you know what? It might get me a down payment on a house someday if I ever sell these bad boys, which I'm never gonna do. Bobo didn't hear that. I'm never gonna do that. No, anyway, he's barely in the frame right here. <laughs> The next one I wanna get into is a little bit different from those first two, but big shout out to you guys. The pop community is effing amazing. I love the pop community, okay? It's the reason I do videos, it's the reason Kath and I started. We just wanted to do something different and then we just fell in love with all of you guys. Everyone in the pop community is so nice. People, I mean, there are flippers out there, but they're not part of the pop community. But everyone's always looking out for each other. People do so many things for each other. I've had so many of you guys, when I miss out on pop, reach out to me. Ask me if I need it, they send it to me. They just like, don't even, they don't, I'm always like, oh, let me offer you something. And they just like, no, no, just take it. It's, you know, it's just, we appreciate what you do. It's just, you guys are so nice at that. We have so many parts of the Academy guys 
you guys know who you are. They hit me up on a daily basis. They say, hi, how are you guys doing? Just checking in and having conversations. Like we've known each other our entire lives. And I love that part of the academy. It's built so many friendships, okay? We've met up with other YouTubers, the other YouTubers out We've met up with Top Pops at New York Comic Con, Bearded Pop Hunter, Cletus Selden. I know I've talked about that a lot. All awesome guys, okay? And it's like you build these friendships and I wanna to go to these conventions in the future. I'm looking forward to meeting up with them. And then also seeing you guys at conventions. Like we went to Boston Comic Con and then Rhode Island Comic Con, New York. And we were each time we ran to like, you know, 10, 15 different people that just knew us from the channel. And just sitting down and chatting with you guys. I love that part of pop cutting. It is definitely my number one. Me besides getting these cute guys. But no, it's one of my favorite parts. It's me and you guys. It's awesome and I love that part of it. So that's a huge bonus why collecting pops and having addiction is good. Another fun one to get into here. This is a little bit kind of related to the other one. This is a major one, guys, especially for you kids out there. This is why pop collecting keep doing it, guys. It keeps you away from bad things. Parents will love that one, okay? It does. It's very, very, very true because there's a lot of things out there that aren't the best out in the world. Pop collecting is healthy. It's good for you. It's good for your soul. It feels good when you get pops, when you come home, when you display them. People love them. It, like I said, it builds friendships. It keeps you away from, you know, maybe other questionable things you might be doing on your weekends, you know? People will make fun of it to this day. Oh, what did you get up early on a Saturday for to get in line at a Hot Topic? What did you do on your Friday night? Pop is the coolest thing I've ever done, guys, and I've done a lot of cool things, so there you go. <laughs> One more here that I really like, guys. This is so true, and all you freaking guys that have been hunting for a while will know this. Okay, this is what makes pop collecting the sweetest, dirtiest pleasure out there, is when you're going out, and you're on a hunt, and you're just looking, and you just, I just happened to me the other day or a month ago when I was hunting for ECC and you just pull back a few pops and there it is, the chase sticker. There is no better pleasure than that, guys. When you're just out and you're about and you're just, sometimes you're expecting it, sometimes you're not. Like sometimes I can just, I know I'm gonna find a chase. If I'm in a certain store, like when I was at Wegmans, I found a Darth Vader chase and I was like, there's gonna be a chase there, I know it. Cause who's gonna come to a Wegmans where it's a grocery store for you guys that don't know. But who's gonna go there for pop hunting? But there is this, the pleasure of grabbing a chase in the wild. I know they're not worth as much anymore. They used to be worth like $40, $50, and that really made people love them. Now they're only worth like 20 but you know what? Value isn't everything, but still. Another point here, guys, why pop collecting is a seriously good addiction to get into, okay? This may not be that much proven to it, but like I mentioned earlier, it is a very good investment, okay? I'm not your financial advisor. There's probably other ways to be using your money. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm not a flipper, okay? Have I bought and popped and sold them? Okay, I absolutely have, okay? But I don't buy pops to flip them like people do out there. But I'm telling you, I would never part with my collection, so it's not, this isn't a good example for me, but a lot of people build up their collection and then they sell it, it gets to be too much. Like if I sold this right now, guys, all of my pops, I would easily, I mean, it's worth more than this, but I definitely get between 15 and 20,000, at least, at least, okay? Just from what I've seen companies throw at people. I would never do that ever because of what they mean to me. I love them. But I'm just saying that if, you know, if I wasn't so obsessed with them, you know, that's a good investment. I mean, you know what? It's kind of like, if I'm, I don't know if I'd be making money. I mean, I would be because I probably only spent like 10 grand <laughs> on Funko Bobs. I don't really know if I spent 10 grand. It might be nine grand. I have no idea. But it, it's almost like a bank account for your money and you either store it, maybe you're not getting much interest in it, but still, it's, it's, it's a good investment, Funko Bobs. One more point I want to throw in here, guys. Now, this is a really good one. Getting a little philosophical with all of you. Funko Pop collecting, you might not think so. At least it used to in the day, maybe not as much as anymore because people don't wait as much, but it very much teaches patience, okay? We've had to go and line up outside for hours upon end, not even knowing if we're gonna get the pop we're going for, whether it's a chase at a Hot Topic, whether it's a convention exclusive. Kath and I have waited outside for two hours some mornings for a pop. I know some people have waited way longer, okay? It teaches patience, you know? That's what it does. You gotta just sit there and wait. Okay, what else is gonna do that? I mean, in today's world, it's always go, 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 go. You want everything, you go online, you buy it, boom, boom, boom. Pop collecting, it's not that way. If I want a certain pop, you're not guaranteed to get it online. You can't just, you know, unless you're a freaking bot, okay? So that is one really underrated thing it teaches. Alrighty, Funko Pop Academy. So that's gonna wrap it up. Those are, I think, like five, six, seven points. I don't even remember how many I came up with at the end there, but <laughs> I was rattling off a little thing that would jump into my mind at times. Not too well thought of, but those are my reasons why I think Funko Pop collecting is a good addiction to have. If you would like to argue with me, please comment down below because I will defend it to the end. And if you are right about something, I will let you guys know. I like talking with you guys. If there are any other reasons you guys can think of of why Funko Pop collecting is, or you have any great stories from collecting that's brought you happiness and stuff, let me know down below. That's also a big one right there. Is pop collecting 
is good because it brings so much happiness. Yes, there's days where you don't get a pop, you like, you're like, oh my god, I just want to stop collecting, it's so annoying. That happens all the time. Just happened with WonderCon. All those, some of those pops are a lot like that. People have them in their carts. I know it's very frustrating, but ultimately, guys, this world here with my pops up here, it's so much happiness. I come in here and it's like my wonderland, so I love it. But as always, guys, thank you so so freaking much for checking us out here at Funko Pop Academy. Make sure to smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already because we do have fun videos. I did order some mystery boxes because I'm getting a little bit bored and I haven't been buying pops. Pops. So, I bought two mystery boxes and it's a good one, guys. There's some good pops you can get in there. So, hoping that comes in this week sometime and then I am working on the collection video. I have them pretty much organized, kind of, if that makes sense. As much as my 1300 pops can get organized. So I'm gonna come out with that collection video because it's gonna be madness and craziness. So make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that out. Until next time, guys. Thanks for getting Funko Pop addictive funky with me. Love you guys, bye.